What's going on everyone? Enjoying this beautiful display cabinet that I just built. Well actually refurbished. Let me re let me uh state this again. I took an IKEA cabinet really quick. I bought some material which was I'll go through it in a second and uh wanted to uh set up my display a little differently, especially with this piece. I had this on an acrylic stand, decided to uh venture off and make something special which I like doing to the cabinets. Um, I like to refur uh, refurbish them. So I got this IKEA piece about three years ago. It's about 90 bucks. And uh, I look, I'm looking at a $300 total, well, $350 uh, in materials. So cabinet costs 90. I put 300 something dollars. You're saying to yourself, you're crazy. But it's something that I enjoy in the hobby. I love to do the stuff. I did my office like this and uh, I love working with metal. Okay, so in the video ahead, if you guys wanna skip ahead, you can. This is sheet metal, angle lines, lax hex, uh, an angle line down here to hide the RGB, which I don't wanna see the R RGB lighting, which you can see it there. Um, I'm gonna hide that in a second, well today. Don't like seeing the, the lighting, I like to be, yeah, I have the lighting over here in the back side which when you don't see it, it looks much better than actually seeing those little dots, which I don't like. <clears throat> also, I um, changed the legs on this, put Ikea legs. They're, they're pretty cool, they go on Bestas actually. So, uh, brought down the cabinet somewhat because it was pretty high, it was about uh, another uh, seven, eight inches high. And um, I'm actually gonna add another shelf from the bottom up so I'll place them so I'm gonna raise them up somewhat um, this space here between the top of the cabinet and his head that is approximately about uh, almost uh, 20 inches so I'm gonna raise them another um, probably eight inches high so I'll get some uh, space below him uh, that's gonna be a custom diamond plated stand reinforced and then in there I'm going to put all the Man of Steel hot toy figures that I have of, of the same character and uh, it's going to look pretty awesome with the lighting and uh, the lighting um, I would definitely go with something spectacular Home Depot has this um, General Electric it's called or Commercial Electric um, RGBs they're pretty expensive you guys are uh, probably a lot of people have seen this on uh, can get them on on uh, Amazon for 19 bucks, but those just don't last. Uh, at least these uh, these last for a very long time. I have them all over the house down here in the, uh, the little man cave or the Fortress of Solitude. So anyway, I want I like uh, I like metal because I like the industrial look of it, and uh, that's why I went with the theme. Always, uh, I love I love silver, so silver is my color, my preference. So anyway, oh, and also I got this uh, the uh, um, Superman versus Batman symbol. Um, I got it on ST. It's pretty awesome and uh, lights up in the back, so it's pretty cool. And plus, it fits the scale of the cabinet, so it's like perfect. I had it somewhere else, and I was like, oh wow, I'm gonna put this in there, so I did that. Um, also, to feed in the RGB, did a grommet right there. I'm gonna buy the grommet today and a grommet hole, and I brought it in. I like everything hidden, so. It just gives it a uh, much better look. All right, so enjoy the video. Uh, some parts are missing. I, I couldn't, uh, I forgot to uh, <laughs> to record them, but the paint job of this, but um, it's an aluminum paint job. The aluminum uh, paint, you can buy that anywhere. It just gives it a nice texture. Not the sheet metal, the interior. So, and don't paint the glass, <laughs> whatever you do. Glass doors, which is cool, right? Got the glass door there, and uh, put some crystal knobs on, and maybe I'm gonna change them to something with Superman logo soon. All right, so enjoy the video, and uh, thanks for uh, watching. So here we have um, sheet metal you can buy at Home Depot. Now it comes in a, uh, it comes bigger, bigger than this actually, the sheet, but um, you cut it with a utility knife, and you take a straight, you know, you can take a metal yard, you know, metal yards uh, uh, measuring ruler here. I can't, I'm lost for words right now. I'm so, like, so tired. Then you go across and you take a utility knife and you can just 
you know, cut down on it a few times and then you can bend it and it'll cut. Very easy to do, not hard at all, okay? But anyway, here's a sheet metal. And what you can do here is uh, you can put it, let me go here, you put it like that and do the whole edging. Instead of you wanting to paint it, you can, ed, you know, put it there on the edge. And then you can take an angle on it. There's different, there's different sizes. I would go with the smaller one, depending on the width. And what you can do here is put it at the edge like that. And, and you can finish off your cabinets like that. And it looks insane. Let me just show you here, close up. I know everything's silver. But as you can see there, damn, lighting is horrible. I'm so sorry about that. But you can finish off edges like that on both sides. And how do you would attach that? You can glue it if you wanted to. You can, you can have it glued, or you could actually put rivets through there if you're handy, or a hex with no slots in them. Hex screws, sip screws. I mean, there's so many things you can do. Me, I'm gonna, I'm gonna just jazz it up like this. I'm good with the uh, with these uh, bolts. I call them bolts, but they're not bolts. They're called lag, la hag lags. I don't know what the hell it's called. I'll get the terminology in a second. Let me look at my phone. The proper terminology. Maybe you guys are interested. They do come in, uh, they do come in different uh, sizes. And you, you just get the shortest one possible. And oh, of course, I didn't, and I didn't mention it, but I will mention it, I'll show you right now. You don't have to drill all the way through. They're called uh, hex lag screws. Right there. So you know what I'm talking about. It's a picture I took. Fucking Home Depot sucks. All their employees are fucking horrible in New York. Um, sorry for uh, ranting there. Anyway, let's just take a look at, at what I did here really quick right so let's pick one right here all right so you see that right there I'm tying the camera there and what you do is you don't got to go all the way through because you know the cut let me get that on the camera right there I only I only went down a quarter inch as you saw me grinding them off and then you just go into into there about a quarter inch out of the way, sit it down, you put glue around it, boom, and you got it. And it's gonna look insane. So anyway, for you collect. All right, so here we have an aluminum sheet of metal. You can buy this at uh, Home Depot or Lowe's here in the United States. Um, they cost about I think uh, seven to eight dollars a sheet, and the measurements are um, twelve by twenty-four and uh, zero, 0 0.19 in thickness. So you need the, you need, you need this because what I'm gonna do is, uh, it's a little bit laborious if you if you get a thicker one. So you need this kind of sheet metal, it's nice, it's very easy to work with. So what we do here is that he ha this has a film on one side. So I'm going to actually lay that down uh, so I don't have to, uh, scratch it and then you end up with these pieces so you take your measurement of the cabinet all around and I found that I got lucky because I have this um, yardstick made out of metal which you know it's a straight line to, to make straight lines and shit like that when you're working around the house so I got that you're gonna need um, some clamps and a workable work area it could be your table but you got to protect it because you what I'm gonna do with the utility knife also you need a utility knife Fresh blade should be included in the project because it'll make it much easier for you to actually uh, cut them, cut it. And um, I'm going to use the word scourge, like what they did to the back with the whip, the Roman times, to uh, you know that guy that they called, uh, you know, Jesus. Anyway, so we're going to scourge this a couple of times. It's going to be fun. So I line it up against the edge of this table workbench here, my little workbench area, and uh, now I'm going to get a clamp, I'm going to clamp it down here, I'm going to clamp it on this edge, as you see here, and I'm pretty even. I'm not really worried about the edges and if they're a little rough or not because um, when I use the, uh, the 
angle line that I'm going to use here. I'll show it to you now. So the angle line here, this is going to sit and cover that edge. So it'll be perfect. So you won't see the edging of the sheet metal. So that's how you finish off the cabinetry at the ends. And I'm going to use a product to glue it instead of put rivets or drill it in. And it's the GE Iron Grip. Now they say that this is pretty good and you don't need to use clamp, 75% less clamp time. Um, it glues in about 20 seconds. So I'm going to glue that and that's how I'm going to finish off the edging of that cabinet. So I hope that it gets to look really nice. So anyway, let's get back into this little area where this is the most important part. Because <clears throat> you have to address this and finish it nicely, you know, to give it that awesome look on the cheap. But it's a little time consuming. So we're going to take the, the blade. I hope you can see that. And we're going to get in there deep. Watch your hand. Don't put your hand behind the cut because you can actually, you know, come off if you're not experienced enough working with this uh, utility knife and cutting metal all right so we work it we get into that corner don't worry about my fucking table i have plenty of these this is my workbench i abuse this bench all the time had it for many years it's still standing so we get in there we start we try to stay above the cut you have more control than going back here all right, so stay above the cut as you're cutting, excuse me, stay above the utility knife, All right? Get that first line in, apply some pressure, okay? And we're just, whoop, came off the line. That's not a biggie, because I told you. What happens there is that the angle line will cover that. So we did our first one. We're gonna go in there. I'm gonna go a little faster because this video is getting really long. But I just wanted to share in the community with you guys what you could actually do to enjoy yourselves, you know? Uh, part of the collecting is to actually use your imagination, man, and uh, you know, make your place, your little sanctuary. It could be a corner, it could be a, a 2,000 square foot basement or a room, you know, that you use an extra bedroom once you kick out the kids or your girlfriend or your boyfriend, whatever the hell you choose uh, to do with an area that is unoccupied and then be creative and you don't have to buy like super expensive uh, cabinets. So I think three, three, four slices does it. Now, most important thing here, we have our scourge line, we have our line, right? Well, I know I went in and I can see a little bit of the uh, actual line from the uh, other side. You can see it. It's not, it's not ripped through there yet. It's not cut through there yet. But we'll start giving it a bend. We'll work it little by little. You're gonna start seeing fold. Friction is gonna cause this to start coming apart and bending it takes about a minute till we get this where we want it okay so now we're now we're folded here right so now we're gonna come back and we don't want to do it very hard because then you'll dent the sheet metal if you dent the sheet metal you're fucked so there's no way of bringing that back so don't do it yep see that you heard the little snap that's it straight line perfect my utility knife now it has a protective film I'll show that to you it's right there so that's what's actually holding this okay we we'll take our utility knife we cut that just like that and we're good man that's it you're done okay very easy peel off the film you um, put this and you add it up on the edge you know of that cabinet gonna pre-drill the holes match them up put the bolt in and it gives me that beautiful finished look that I'm looking for all right 
So continuing on with the uh, actual um, do-it-yourself cabinet uh, from my Man of Steel, you know, half-scale prime. Um, I wanted to show you guys. So these are at Home Depot. You buy these. These are half-inch uh, lag, I think uh, lag nuts. If I'm not mistaken, and uh, they're 52 cents each. And uh, the display cabinet downstairs. Um, I wanted to add a little bit more flair to it, you know, some, uh, some, you know, some bolts and stuff on it to make it look more metallic, more industrial look. And uh, so, what you need is a grinder. And if you don't have a grinder, and you want to go old school, and you get yourself a, uh, you know, you cut this with a, uh, a nice uh, hacksaw metal blade, right, to cut. You just cut here. Now you just I just need to do a, a pilot hole and I'll show you that in a few minutes into the cabinet and then you just make the screws like that. That's what you're gonna get. So for my for my display, um, I needed 24 spaced out evenly throughout the cabinet. It's gonna look awesome. And um, I'll show you how, what I'm doing here and just cut off enough where it's just going to go in um, just about, sorry for the lighting, uh, just about, um, uh, I, I say uh, almost a quarter of an inch in depth. So that just goes right in. And then that'll be outside of the cabinet. You're going to see it's going to look awesome. Well, I believe so. But anyway, let's do some grinding. Much faster doing grinding if you guys have a workshop, but if you don't have a workshop, I, I have a little, I'm, you know, I'm blessed to have a little workshop, uh, not little, but big enough where I can actually do these things. And, you know, modifying your cabinet, a hundred, I, I, I paid, I think, $90, 95 bucks for it, and uh, painted it up, you know, and you can do this with anything. I mean, you can, anything you got, just, you know, you find little you know little things like this and, and you sort them out you paint it and you just you know give it a whole new pizzazz and display cabinet anyway one more to go and then downstairs to the uh, display do it oh yeah we're done so here we have the display case and um it's almost finished. Just have to add, add the hex onto there, onto the holes, and then pull out all the plastic cover. And I added the angle lines to finish off the edges where I actually glued the uh, sheet metal. Right, so the sheet metal has to be cut. And there's a video. There's a little segment before here, so you guys can. Take a look at how I cut that. Anyway, then we add the um, angle line here, but I'm going all the way to the top here at the edge. And I did a little cut so it can be inserted. Looks a little bit, looks nicer that way. And then we'll add goo gone to the angle line, take off all the stickers, clean it up, and then uh, it's going to look pretty awesome. So I can't wait to uh, actually check this out. And uh, stay with me. All right, so here I have the um, RBG lights. All the hex lags are are done, and uh, the RGB crazy light show in there. I may add another 24 footer uh, in the background, but I think this will do. The Batman doing him justice. Well, doing him justice. A uh, symbol lights up as well in the back white lights I'm contemplating on actually adding a shelf for my man of steel hot toys above the half um, <clears throat> half scale prime but now let's take a look at the uh, statue inside or the glass doors are on I may change the knobs there these are like I don't know um, crystal clear but I may have to go with something like a Batman, I mean a Superman, excuse me, a Superman knob or something.
All right, so I finally finished the uh, cabinet and uh, I installed the Prime 1 in there. Uh, he looks amazing. Um, actually, I don't like the height of it, so what I'm going to do is um, I'm going to raise it. I'm gonna, actually, I'm going to raise him. I'm going to make a stand on the bottom, a display cabinet on the bottom where I can put the 1-6 uh, scale Man of Steel figures underneath him. So it's going pretty awesome, and then bring him up right about, uh, yeah, right about. Let's see where I'm gonna bring him. I'll show you. Bring him right about here. Yeah, I think that'll be fine, and uh, yeah, it's gonna look pretty awesome. So I uh, hooked him up with these RGBs, which are amazing. You can do so many different things. You can do meteorite. I love that meteor. Flash, love that. So cool. So little little display here with the nice the lights out. It's pretty epic. So I mean, uh, you know, if uh, you guys are interested in doing this, it's not a very hard thing to do. Uh, refurbishing your um, refurbishing your your old, uh, you know, your old uh, cabinets and stuff like that, giving a new life to it, and uh, I think it came out well. You just look around your collection and just see what you like to actually revamp, and uh, it'll live again, man. It'll definitely live again. I enjoyed this project. I love working with metal. I did my office like this, and uh, yeah, I think it's easy. It's not too bad. It's not costly, and. Uh, You'll have fun doing it because it's something that you like. I mean, this is my hobby. I love this hobby, collecting, and I love, you know, doing stuff like this. So anyway, you know, I always say it. I know you don't like me, but you like my style. And, um, yeah, man, I can't wait for the Justice League. It's going to be epic. Peace to you guys. Thank you for uh, being part of uh, my channel and... Uh, taking a little time out to uh, watch the old man uh, have a little fun with you guys. Still one of the best statues uh, I've ever collected. Awesome. He lives, man. <laughs>